Hey there, this is Dr. Jeremy. Zeta potential is a term that describes how much electric charge is contained on the surface of our red blood cells. We can have a drastic effect on our patient's health by ensuring that their blood contains plenty of this electric charge so that the cells are free floating. And this makes it super easy for molecules such as hormones, neurotransmitters, or even neutrophils to travel to where they need to go uninhibited by clumpy, sticky, unhealthy blood. In this brief video, I show dark field microscopic examples of before and after effects of inserting electricity into the blood. I hope you enjoy. We have something called a blood electrification treatment. Now, I've taught this in a bunch of other classes. I'd like to really nail it this time because the power of this is simply phenomenal. Here we have dark field microscopy before and after pictures. On the left here is before adding chi to the blood. And here on the right is after adding chi to the blood. Now, cardiologists have a term called zeta potential. It just means how much negative electron charge is sitting on the, red, on the surface of the red blood cells. Negative repels negative, makes blood cells uh, flow freely. Now, we also said yesterday that the Earth is one huge reservoir and battery of this negative electric charge. It is on the outside of our skin, and when you stick a needle without connecting a machine, the, chi, the benevolent chi from the outside is getting into the body because it's a higher density, and this chi flows down its concentration gradient into the body. However, much slower than when you're using voltage, which is a measurement of electron pressure, to push more chi into the body in a shorter amount of time. Nonetheless, again, on the left here is clumping before adding this zeta potential, and on the right is free floating because there's negative charge on these red blood cells pushing each red blood cell aside. This is a direct indicator for cardiologists of likelihood of a stroke event or a clotting event because obviously the, the blood's more likely to clot over here on the left versus the right. Now, we said yesterday that our, there's chi givers, like our machines, and there's chi receivers or stealers, such as cell phones. Here's another before and after, more dark field microscopy. Now, dark field microscopy is really useful for seeing pathogens in the blood. And it's thought that we all have about one to three pounds of pathogens in our blood. And we're about to learn how to clean that up. One of my teachers did some research where he pulled blood out of the body, added chi to it, and put the blood back in the body. He did that every single day for 21 days in HIV patients and hepatitis patients. He stopped the treatment after 21 days. The viral loads were undetectable. He retested at the one-year mark, the five-year mark, and the 10-year mark. And after 10 years, even the HIV patients, the viral loads were undetectable just by adding this benevolent chi directly to the blood. I'm gonna show you how to add this benevolent chi directly to the blood. But what it does is it's not necessarily a killing thing unless you're using DC current, but we're using AC current. What this electricity being put directly into the blood, it inhibits viral, bacterial, and fungal growth. So if they can't reproduce, they just go away. Here's another one. Look at this blood here. Somebody's walking around with blood that looks like that. That's pretty scary to me. Um, and then here's the results just by adding this chi. Of course, this is physics here. You put negative charge on the outside of this membrane here, and all the cells, uh, negative repels negative, and the cells flow freely. Not only is this a higher risk of cardiovascular event here, but think about 
how easy the immune system can move through here and do what it needs to do. The, the blood cells help it out versus here, the immune system gets, gets stuck. This is goopy, sticky blood. The immune system gets stuck here in all these areas. There was a study where we were saying that the earth is a big source of this benevolent chi. So by touching the earth over an extended period of time, that chi will flow nice and gently into the body and, and heal and reduce inflammation. Well, this study was that the further the person goes up in a high rise building, 10th floor, 15th floor, the more likely that they're going to have a stroke. The further away from the earth they are, the less of this benevolent chi is going in there. And another one, before and after. Again, scary blood on the left, free-floating blood on the right. A lot of people test this on themselves when they find out about it. Maybe they get a dark field microscope and test it on themselves. And there's a lot of YouTube videos, if you're interested, of people testing themselves, not only on the, the aspect of anti-clumping and zeta potential, but on the reducing pathogen effects of this. Now, this is interesting. It's going in the opposite direction. They take somebody that is here, which is not even normal compared to those previous slides after adding chi, but this is before a cell phone call, and this is after a cell phone call, when the cell phone has now stolen zeta potential or negative benevolent chi off of the red blood cells, and this is what happens. So I don't really recommend putting your cell phone over your heart. It's going to steal chi directly from the heart. Maybe increase your chances of a, a cardiovascular event. I don't recommend using a cell phone up against the body. We know it steals chi. It's the opposite of our treatments. So when you get done with your beautiful treatment of your patient and you're so proud of yourself, and then they're like, hold on, I got to take this call. And then they put the cell phone up to their head or they come into your office and you, you want to help them. You're trying to test them. You're getting some weird, wacky results and you realize that their cell phone is maybe in, in their groin area, in their pocket or somewhere on them. So very important to try and remove these cheese stealers before you start testing them like I was showing you yesterday. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button now. And if you wish to find out more information regarding my upcoming live event, other blog posts, or electroacupuncture medicine in general, more information can be found below this video. I'll see you soon.